Hey, Hebrew fans, this is Todd. So today I'm my friend Steve Hartley, and he is working on a book called uh, Dragons, and he's an artist, and his artwork is amazing. Well, today we're going to take live requests. So in the chat form, put figures you want to see drawn or superheroes or whatever else. He's going to start with Hebrew for me, and then after that we'll move on to other ones as well. So you can watch him draw live. Um, he'll, if you want to ask him questions about his artwork or what he does, let me know, and I'll yell the questions at him so he can answer on the, on the video. So let's go ahead and move to the drawing board, and let's check this out. switched around. There it is. I don't know if it will change it or not. All right. So there you go, Steve. So Steve's already started drawing my hero figure for me, which is awesome. So, so Steve, how, how'd you get started doing this? I mean, what actually drove you to say, you know what, when I grow up, I want to be an artist. What was the, some of the key factors? Well, at two, I was able to draw stuff. So that kind of gave me a cue that uh, maybe this was a way to go. And uh, I just love to draw. So, and I love cool stuff like monsters and superheroes and dinosaurs and dragons and things. So that really makes it easy for me. So Steve, tell us a little bit about your yeah, my dragon book that I'm working on is a culmination of about 32, 33 years of uh, drawing pictures of dragons. I have a lot of work that I either have painted that I drew you many years ago, plus a lot of new stuff that I've done. And uh, I just wanted to make it into something that was uh, an actual book. That was the plan from the very beginning many years ago. It's just now was the right time. The pandemic gave me the time to, to coalesce everything into an actual book. All right, Steve, so how many dragons are actually in, in your book? There are 26 pages. There's 24 dragons in the book, 24 illustrations. Okay, well, um, different subject matter, all different types of dragons, all different types of circumstances and situations. Uh, and uh, some of them tell a story. Some of them are just a static image that I've painted. Some of the, uh, the dra dragons are from actual gigs I did, work I've done for you know, you know uh, people who needed the artwork. Uh, but most are my creations and straight out of my memory. So. All right, excellent. Now, I recently see some cool drawings you've done um, just on, online. Yeah. And, like, one thing I really liked was those elemental dragons you did. Yeah. Do you, do you want to talk about that? What was kind of the thing that got that idea of you got that coming up and stuff? Yeah, another buddy of mine who had been also watching me on, on uh, Facebook doing that uh, uh, said, hey, man, why don't you do some elemental dragons? And I thought, well, that's a good idea. And, and I'm always looking for good ideas. I, so I started out drawing a, um, a water ice dragon. And after that, uh, of course, once you do water, you got to do fire. And uh, then I did a stone earth dragon and then finally an air dragon. And those images will be in the book. Uh, I put them all together on, on, in one piece, and now it's, it's the elemental page that I've uh, done. Oh, wow. So those, those uh, elemental dragons will actually be in the, in in the, the book. book? Yep, they will be. Oh, wow. So it's kind of last minute re edition, huh? Yeah, you know, I had all of the artwork in there already. The book was completed when I started my Indiegogo, but... But uh, as I looked at things, some things I like better than others, so I took them out and put new things in. Let me finish that one just to hear yeah. some more requests. People are like, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> oh, there we go. That is oh, that's so that cool. really, really cool looking He Man there. Yeah, no, that guy's awesome looking. You want to show him on the camera? Yeah, this is this one, man. <laughs> yeah, I love those proportions. All right, let's start. Let's see what we can do. Let's work on a, a chiseled face for this guy. Yeah. 
request for a beast man. Oh, okay. Well, let's 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 get rid of He Man. And let's do a beast man right quick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There he is. So this is actually a a, a, a custom beast man I did, and so Steve's gonna draw him. Yeah. He's half 2000X and half uh, the original style. Thanks, thanks for the request. You will, you'll be able to find the picture on Facebook later on today. Looks really cool, Steve. Yeah, he's coming out. He's gonna be mean, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna be awesome. He's got all the good stuff that makes you love drawing these kind of things. I noticed just watching. You seem to always start with the face. Is that like a, a a technique you picked up or something? Well, you know, I the head is where everybody looks to begin with most of the time, and that's where I look. So when I'm doing uh, figures and things, the head is where I go first. But uh, yeah, looks really cool. Yeah, there we go. So when when you first started drawing professionally, what was some of your first uh, gigs you did? Oh my gosh, man! I started drawing professionally when I was thirteen. My my first job was my dad's barbecue business. He needed a logo, and uh, he wasn't paying anybody. He was paying. He was getting me. You know, I, I got some extra barbecue, is what I got. But uh, I did my first logo for my dad and. And realized, you know, I drew just because I love to draw, and I hadn't really thought about making a living at it. But once I did that, and I saw his response to my work, and and uh, he was happy with it, and we used it for years. Then I, uh, my next one was a piece of architectural artwork for a, a real estate company, not stuff I really was interested in, but it certainly was. It was fun to do, and I got paid, and it was what told me, okay, this could be something. Okay, I'm doing these real loose and sketchy at first, and then I'll tighten everything up as we go along. Because I want him in a dynamic pose here. So one, one of my favorite patrons have just come on. Adam is on. Hey, Adam. Hey, thanks for doing the, the sound check for me earlier, Adam. Is, does it, it still sound okay? I guess Adam's busy typing away. <laughs> so for those that just joined, we are actually doing requests. Um, you can request uh, any uh, um, superhero or He-Man figure. We're going to try to go with He-Man figures first, a lot of them. Hey, uh, um, um, System Failure says uh, uh, amazing art, Steve. Oh, thank you. Yeah, man, he's bringing it. You're getting ready to put a hurting on He-Man. You think he can? So, System Failure, what superhero do you want him to draw? Thanks, man. Steve, do you, do you know Spawn well enough to draw him? Uh, well, I, I, I know him, but you know what? I'll just pull up a photo reference up on my phone. No problem. All right. Yeah, that's not a problem. So, we'll see other quests come in. You, yep. you, might, you might be vetoed, man, because you are the guy who asked for Beast Man, too. <laughs> but if nobody else has any other cool requests, we don't get a lot of votes for the same thing, then we'll be drawing spawn. Well, here's the thing. I'm fast enough that we can get to most everybody, I think. 
Right. This guy wants a mixture of Hulk and Thor. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. All right, Hulk and Thor it is, man. <laughs> you can't get any cooler than that, No, right? you can't, no. No. No, I can see myself drawing that right now. The hammer battle. Yeah. Oh, so the, uh, not, a, not a combo, but them actually fighting it out? Is that what he wants? I think it's what he wants. Okay, all right. Well, we all know who wins that fight, so come on. Thor. No, get out of town. Come on. No, man, look the at long, the... Long, blonde-haired look, guy. Look at the comics, man. Don't look at the movie. Blondie. Look at the movie. Don't look at the movie. Look at the comic. <laughs> I know, Hulk rules. <laughs> That's right. He brought some heat. Hey, just look back at... Uh, I'm trying to remember which issue it was of Thor. It was... Uh, Eric Larson's one of Eric Larson's very first issues. Hulk threw a train on top of Thor. <laughs> <laughs> he grabbed the whole train and smashed him with it. So, yeah, I when think... he woke up from that, he realized he was messing with somebody that was... That brings a whole new life to train around. <laughs> That's right. So, yeah, I, I love both those guys. They're two of my favorites. Hulk is my absolute favorite. You have to have a Hulk, but no Thor. I don't need any help with Thor. He's, he's, he's pretty Thor. easy. Yeah. Hulk is harder, actually, to draw than Thor. <laughs> All right, I'm going to check the chats to see if anyone right. else has had anything cool. else. Cool. Keep, keep talking, though, and tell them about, about your process. Yeah, so my process is I just... What I do for a living, my, my actual job is I'm a caricature artist, which means you have to be snappy. you got to be fast. And so, uh, but I was, I mean, my intention when I was a little kid was I want to be a comic book artist. I want to draw superheroes. And um, that business is tough, especially these days. Comics are struggling to stay alive. But even when I was young, uh, it was a tough business to make a living in. So, uh, and I didn't want to starve. So I decided that I'd be an illustrator and a commercial artist and and I've been a freelancer. I worked in the video game industry for a few years, quite a few years, actually, uh, working on different projects. But I came to realize that for me, the best thing was pencil and paper, not necessarily digital, um, like 3D stuff like I was working on in the business. And um, so I finally, in 2001, I left the business and just did my caricatures and illustration work, and I have never looked back. So, I'm very blessed to get to do this for a living. Get to draw what I love to draw, and kind of don't have a boss. It's pretty cool. I need a bigger piece of paper, Todd. I drew Beastman too much, too big. Oh, well, gosh, who is my favorite man to draw? Boy, that's a tough one, man, because I like them all. Everybody's fun to draw. And I, and I don't spend as much time drawing superheroes as I'd like to anymore because of, you know, my work. But, uh, let's see, should that be? Yeah, that should be in front. I'm going to put that big old club right there, and then I'll yeah, pencil that in in a minute. I'll be in front of his knee. And then, then we'll, all right, now, Except here, right? Yeah. Yep. Man, this guy's got lots of stuff on him, lots of clothing, or lots of coverings to protect him. Protect him.
shared on Facebook. There's a bunch of Marvel groups that we be doing uh, Thor and Hulk next. Okay. <laughs> we'll get them on here. Dude, you are so smart. <laughs> All right, you guys, if you're listening, share around, man. Anybody you know that's a, a Marvel fan, Hulk and Thor is coming up next. It's going to be really cool. And uh, so let them know. Let's, let's get some hits on here and check out Steve's book. I put a link in the description, and I also put a link in the comments. Um, Today is the last day for his book, so check it out. The guy is phenomenal, as you can see, a drawing. And his dragons are just amazing. Yep, Adam, the guy is definitely amazing. This is fun, man. <laughs> what a good time. You know, we should give this away somehow. That's a good idea. We Later on, you guys, check out my, my stuff. Subscribe to my channel now, and we'll figure out some way to uh, get these live drawings to some, some people that are here. So... Dude, that looks so cool. Man, he looks like he's ready to do some business, you know? He's like, yeah, he man, you say you're tough and all, but <laughs> man, I got something for you right here. I'm ready to put the whooping on you. <laughs> Adam wants to know how this is possible. <laughs> how, what, how, what, to put the whooping on He-Man? No, how you're oh. drawing this so amazingly so quick. Oh, well, that like I said, you know, for what I do for a living, you can't be goofing around. You got to be moving quickly. And, um, and that's the fun part of it for me. I see good. That's, that's the good part about my, my talent is I can see well, and it helps me, you know, lay out things in a way that can get it done. A little bit faster than usual, I suppose. Yeah, that club is so cool, man. Yeah, he, that is a serious business. Troglodyte club there. Yeah, I, I made it on my shape, boys. <laughs> that is really nice, man. There we go. We'll get the rest of his leg. That works out perfect. His leg is behind the the knob knocker there. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Let me go see what else is joined that's waiting for Thor and Hulk, man. All right. Yeah, I'll get her, get this guy twer squared away, and then we'll go, go after. What? How about this? How about we have it? This is today is the last day of your book. Anybody yeah. that subscribes to your book during this video will get one of these drawings. Well, it works for me. I think that's a great way to do it. Yeah. So you guys, system failure, don't just save the book, man. Go and purchase the book, um, and then somehow let us know that you got it, and we'll see the numbers go up. And then come find me on Facebook, and uh, we'll get out one of these drawings to you, man. Yeah, we'll just mail it to you. Yeah, we'll just mail it to you. And you'll have a, a, this cool drawing, this one or some other drawing. and uh, Well, you know, make sure he if he's asking for whatever he's asking for. Well, he we'll... actually asked for this and the Hulk and Thor one. Okay, well, let's see what happens, right? <laughs> I think he wants the Hulk and Thor one more than the one. <laughs> well, that's all right. <laughs> you know, I, I, that one's going to take a little longer to do. But, uh, you know, this quick ink job here. So I'll, I'll, I'll go check the stats. Um, System Fair, let me know when you've purchased it, and I'll see if the numbers go up. And that'll be awesome, man. Thank you, System. Get the tight detail work in after I get these bold lines in. 
And then we can tighten it all up. Dude, that looks so cool. Yeah, well, he's cool looking, man. Get all this dark work done, and then we can get in here and... Okay, the club is covered, and okay, get his knee pad back there. And get some hands in here. What I'll do is I'll erase all of the pencil lines on this when I'm done with it. So it looks neatened up now. Now we're gonna get in here with some detail work because we can't, can't do his face. That big fat marker, it just wouldn't work. Well, that stinks, the, the system failure. I don't know, what's happening? He's saying he doesn't have the, the cash to buy a boat. Oh, well, that's okay. Thanks for looking. Yeah, share with your friends though, man. Get, get online, get with your Facebook friends, and tell everybody. Yeah, System Fair has his own YouTube channel, too. Oh, okay. And he was hoping to use the artwork he got from you to put on his, on his channel. Well, that's okay. We can, you know. I'm looking for exposure and the opportunity to, uh, to get to a more, uh, larger audience, so. Yeah. That'd be good. So cool, man. He is mean looking, man. I know, like his nose is just gnarled. Oh, okay. System failure. Todd says, find him on Facebook. Yeah. Tell him to look, for Hebrew. look for Hebrew on Facebook and uh, uh, Hebrew.com. Hebrew .com. Actually, this is Harry, so yeah. Usually a drawing like this takes about an hour to do. I'm rushing through it for sure. Um, but, uh, you know, you can do a finished piece. I have an example. I'm, I'm going to show you real quick something that I did. This is a drawing I did for myself that's actually going in another book that I'm going to do. I'm going to be painting it next week. Uh, but this is just an example of when I have a little extra time, when I'm not trying to zoom through things. surface detail and everything here and uh, see that is so cool yeah, I gotta get his emblem oh yeah <laughs> oh, watch it up. You have a YouTube channel, Steve. 
Uh, I do. It's uh, it's Thorium Studios, but uh, it's I just started it, so I'm going to be putting more videos on. I've got about four or five videos on there now uh, that were part of the campaign for my, my book. And uh, my hope is to soon start just doing drawing uh, tutorials and just draw something and, and kind of do like this where I have people suggest, hey, can you draw this? And I'll draw it. And uh, that's and with the help of my friend Todd, the uh, I, I think I can do I can do some cool stuff. I am definitely not up to speed when it comes to uh, working on YouTube, but I hope to learn fast and uh, get my own channel. Yeah. Like I said, there's not a whole lot going on there, but there will be because um, at this point I'm, I'm done doing daily sketches for the Dragon Book and I want to start doing stuff like what you just saw when I pulled out that, that dude with the metal arm and uh, start doing stuff with that, all different subject matters uh, and trying to draw something different all the time because I love spaceships and monsters and I love all that kind of stuff, man. That is that is where my heart is. So I can't wait to get in there and start doing something on a regular basis to uh, boost my site. This guy's almost done, Todd. All right. I know he's not fully detailed, but. This is a good start, I think. And clean him up a little bit. That is so cool looking, Steve. Yeah, he looks like he could do some damage, man. He looks like a Klingon, kind of, you know? <laughs> that that chicken, chicken rib cage on his forehead there. <laughs> All right, let's brush that off. And sorry for your floor, Todd. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Beast Man. That is cool. There we go. All right, so there's one. All right, it's Hulk time. All right, here, let's see how, which way we're going to go here now. All right. So Justin Flair was saying that he might uh, try to find a way to, to auction off some of your books on his, his thing. Oh, that'd be awesome. I, I would be very thankful for that. Oh, so it's just up to me or Steve? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Adam, don't worry about it, man. Steve is a professional. And uh, don't be worried that your artwork's not as good as his, because if it was, then... You'd be doing wouldn't, this. Wouldn't, yeah, we don't, we don't need guys like Steve anymore. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so, uh, trust me, man. When I saw his artwork, I was flabbergasted as well. It's amazing. Of course, his wife tells me he cheats at Pictionary. because uh, <laughs> No, I don't cheat. Good. No, I don't cheat at all. It's just I don't get to play. Because everybody's like, no, no, he draws too good. <laughs> so I get to watch. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> so he subscribed to your channel, not mine, Steve. Oh, okay. Thanks, man. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. So that's that's obviously Thor right there, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's obviously Thor getting ready to take the hammer down. That's what he's about to do. But, you know, he's got Milner, so you never know. Actually, you know, I might give him Stormbringer this time. Oh. Yeah. Changing it up. Well, you know, you take the little one. I'll take the big one.
<laughs> I got a very grumpy Hulk here. His feet right there. How do you figure out the proportions of the body to get him so... <laughs> Dude, this is doing it over and over again. You know? You draw something over and over again, you kind of get it. I mean, I'm drawing a lot looser than I usually do because I don't have to rush, you know? But uh, usually, I, I'm, my pictures are a lot tighter as I'm going along. But since we're doing something in a hurry here... this on on the page okay for people to show up yes yeah <laughs> All right. Well, I think I'm, let's see. I want to put it on on there. Okay. Awesome. That hope looks pretty cool, man. Yeah, he's kind of, like I said, he's kind of grumpy. <laughs> that double-fisted uh, smash is a, a good one for him. The double-fisted smash is awesome. <laughs> yeah. So he uses, uses it on, on the ground or something like That's that. That's right. Tanks. Yeah, things <laughs> seem to jump up off the ground when he does that. Yeah. I always thought the clap was kind of ridiculous, though. Hey, man, look, whatever works. I mean, come on. Can you always slap your hands loud enough together to blast a giant airway that only travels one direction? Hey, have you ever uh, actually uh, been hit by a real gust of wind that's been uh, sent, like, through it? There's, there's these air guns. Oh, the air guns, yeah. Dude, okay, so you, you know that they're powerful and they're just little toys. Imagine somebody with 100-ton um, strength level doing that because he's mad. Uh, I think he would be moved. 
<laughs> I think you probably could wouldn't be standing in the same place as when he started. So, System Fire is saying he'll pay for your drawing if you sign it, man. No problem. I'm gonna sign it. There you go, man. We'll, we'll just contact me on Facebook. We'll set up the the, the deal. I can't help but make sounds when I'm drawing these. Oh, yeah. You got to make sounds. Uh, you got this really angry Hulk here. Bringing down the thunder. On the thunder god. Oh, the hair looks so cool, man. Yeah. You know, he has had the Frankenstein hair. He's had the bowl cut. He has had everything in 50-some years of being a superhero. But I just kind of like the, you know, wild hair. Yeah. Personally. That's where he's coming down with attack like that. Yeah. I just like it that way. Yep. He definitely is. Steve has some amazing powers. You are a superhero, they're saying, Steve. Uh, <laughs> I just, I am in love with what I get to do for a living and what I get to just do. You know, when you get to do something you would do for free and get paid for it, man, life is pretty dang good. It's a blessing beyond blessings. Okay, intercostal times. Let's get those babies in there. There we go. You know, Hulk is not much of an ab guy. I mean, he's got them, but uh, he's not like Captain America or anything with the ab action. But uh, Hey, can you do Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z? Oh, yeah. I can do Vegeta. Okay. Look, if I got photo reference, there's nobody I can't draw, that's for sure. And with a cell phone, that means you got photo reference. So, you know? I don't even think about doing D D DBZ stuff. Hey, man, everybody's into everything, you know? Yeah. Dragon Ball, gosh. Talk about characters and great characters and great storylines. I mean, every time he fights somebody, it's, it's, it's another Earth you know, universe shaker, you know? <laughs> Jeez, always this last guy he was fighting. Uh, and I was like, oh, he comes from another universe or something. And you know, Jaren, I think his name is, is punching folks completely out. You know, he had to <laughs> join with Vegeta or something just to be able to fight this guy. So. Come on, the earring thing, I don't get that. They each wear one earring, and they merge hey, into a hey, guy. look, look. You, for that kind of juice, you got to do something you don't like, okay? <laughs> and, you know, you got to wear an earring to win. Then, you know, do what you got to do. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, you know, everybody was watching all the pantheons. He couldn't just let that go by, you know. He had to do something. <laughs> I want to use my fat marker. I didn't bring enough goods, guys. <laughs> I didn't bring enough stuff to, to finish out a piece the way I'd like. But um, Well, if we do this again, we'll, we'll have you bring more stuff, man. Yeah, well, and, you know, I can always, if, if, if things go well here, I can do commissions. You know, I can... You can actually sit down and do some more finished work, and then we'll put it on that way. So, you know, we can prepare for these things. This is something that, we, that Todd thought up as a great idea, and I'm really glad he thought of it. And then there's more opportunity later if, if things work out, you know. You never know. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah. I can't do my line work the way I want. Okay, let me get on with Thor here. Because he deserves his time, too. But you enjoy drawing the Hulk better, don't you? Oh, yeah. The, look, <laughs> you know, you go with your favorite guy. You know, come on, man. And when I was a kid, I collected both these books. I collected Thor. And look, Thor had some of the greatest story arcs ever. With the Bernie Wrights, or Bernie Wrights, with the um, uh, Walt Simonson books. Some of the greatest stories ever told in Marvel, so. Oh, sorry about that. Hope my ears clean. <laughs> Let me just get this over for yeah, you. There we go. There we go. You can go and, and, and clean in now if you want, man. Okay. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> <laughs> we can see your stuff when you got, you know, yeah, two well. hours of shade. It's just so crazy to just do this from just nothing. Well, like I said, you know, you, you draw the anatomy over and over again. You do it 
and uh, you kind of just know, you know where things are supposed to go. And uh, I still use photo reference sometime if it's an especially hard angle or something. Uh, but uh, for the most part, when it comes to doing this stuff, I I don't think too hard about it. You ever thought of doing something cool like maybe dragons? Well, you know, eventually, <laughs> if if everything works out with the superhero gig. You know. <laughs> so for those that just joined, Steve is an artist that um, he draws all kinds of stuff, and he's coming out with a brand new dragon book. And this dragon book is how many years did you work on this? Well, the book <laughs> uh, I I started doing illustrations for this book. 34 years ago uh i didn't know what was going to happen i mean things are so much easier now you can just print your own book you can pretty much make it yourself back then you couldn't quite do those things but uh you know i i i, I finally uh, the, the pandemic gave me a reason because i wasn't working anymore my business had been shut down uh to do it i had time and so i you know i went ahead and started coalescing the book putting together pieces that I have from years past along with some new work that I just started doing and um, turned it into a book that I hope people would like. Now, something you may not know about Steve is he is a fan of all media when it comes to cartoons, comics, all that stuff. And one of his talents, sorry, I'm going to embarrass you a little bit, oh, geez, what is you he rocks at doing voices. Okay, yeah, now you really went. There. No, I, no, no, no. You're not going to do any voices for us, I am man? not doing any voices. I am here to draw. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. I'll get you back, too, man. Jeez. Okay, so let's... Stormbringer, you got a little shine on the Stormbringer there. That's pretty cool. Yeah, tell us about your process, man. My process is, is that uh, it happens so fast anymore. I mean, I've been drawing since... I'm 57 years old. I've been drawing since I was two. So my process is, is you look at it and you draw it. Or it comes out of my head. If it's some of my own creations, then yeah, it comes right out of my head. Uh, but just like anything, you know, you practice. You do it a lot. And the next thing you know, you can do it. So. I know those who love Thor are not happy with me right now because I got the Hulk coming down with the hammer, but you know Thor always comes back. You know he does. He's no, he's no uh, wimp. He's trying to reason with him right now. That's when he's like, come on, buddy. Don't lay the hammer down on me. And when that doesn't work, then he'll start hitting him with a hammer. usually how those two get along anyways all right let's do some cleanup here oh I my favorite Hulk yeah my my favorite although now there's a lot of them my favorite is still Professor. Uh, when he was smart, but still badass. <laughs> the Dale Keown years, when uh, he was doing Hulk, was some of the greatest Hulks to me. Uh, the artwork was just beautiful. And uh, he got smart during that time, and he could still bring it. He just didn't, he didn't, uh, he wasn't completely animalistic, but if he needed to put a hurting on you, he could. Like I said, guys, sorry these aren't too precise because uh, we're on a stream here and I need to be snappy. Happy man. But, uh, yeah, if I was uh, able to sit still for a little while and actually take my time, I could probably do a better job. But uh, since we're, like I said, on the stream, I'm rushing. All right, well, 
was a little mess here, but very cool. There we go. There's the hulkage and the thorage. That is awesome, man. Okay. What's uh? I heard Vegeta. Is that next? Look at that face. Yeah. <laughs> not a happy guy. That is so but cool, most man. of the time, he's not. Yep. I think I think Vegeta was the next. One. Vegeta. Kakarot. I'm getting Vegemite. That's not what I want. You don't want Vegemite, no. No. There he is. Ho, ho. Let's get some images. Oh, I don't know if that's... Oh, man. Yeah, there's some good ones here. Should hey, I have Steve, them? I'm going to run a live video quick on here really fast. Hey, I'm here with my friend Steve. We're doing a live hey, video guys. on YouTube right now, and he's doing some... Uh, live drawings right from requests so if you guys are watching this on facebook get on youtube and watch that video we got going live um steve's already made some awesome drawings let me see if i can show you guys these so here he made a uh, hulk and thor and he made beast man and they are pretty cool looking so get to the youtube channel i'll put a link to this in a minute and uh right now what are you drawing steve vegeta vegeta all right. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go put some... I never realized how small his nose is. Holy mackerel, dude. It's way up there on him. Dude's got the vicious widow's peak, man. Well, system failure is logging off because it's, it's two in the morning there for him. Oh, where's he at? I'm not sure. Wow, he's on the other side of the world. <laughs> yep, th thanks for joining us, man. Hey, well, where are you from? And I did check Facebook. I didn't see a, a message from you on there either. So um, I'm not sure if you found the right Hebrew, but if you go to he-bro.com, you'll find my Facebook link on there. So you might have emailed some other Hebrew. <laughs> There's no other Hebrews. There, there is a rock band called Hebrew. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I, th I think I was first, though. <laughs> You know, Goku's all happy all the time. Even when, <laughs> even when he's like beating people up, he's like, oh, hey, this dude is never happy, man. No. <laughs> he's no. always mad. I mean, he even had a son, Trunks, and he's still not a happy guy. I know. Trunks is awesome. Trunks, Trunks, Trunks is, is my awesome, favorite. man. That's, Trunks brings that's it. That's actually my favorite. Um, Christopher, his favorite used to be Vegeta, and Zax was Pic Piccolo. But uh, for me, it was always strong. Came with that sword, that first episode. Yeah. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah. Had that short coat on, you know. Yeah. yeah. They're fighting the robots. Yeah. Those are some pretty tough androids, dude. Oh, I know. You know, I think they're a little overpowered. What was the deal with uh, Krillin falling in love with an android? Come on, it's a robot. Look, look at Krillin, man. He has no <laughs> nose, dude. Okay, he he's doing what he can do, all right? Don't be like that. Yeah, six dots or something in the middle of his forehead, and he's got no chance with girls. So, we got another question. Okay. 
It's Skeletor riding Panthor. Oh, okay. So let me go ahead and grab my, my Panthor so you can see what it looks like together. So you got Skeletor here. <gasps> mm -hmm. Oh, he's got the bow legs already. Yeah. He's ready for Panthor. Ready to, to, ready to ride the cat. Why has he got a copy He-Man, man? He can have his own kind of animal. So the question is, who copied who? Skeletor is older. Oh, so okay. maybe he had the cat first. Yeah, good point. Yeah. I think He-Man just... To tell you the truth, I, I, I've been dying to make a video game where you play Skeletor. And uh, you try to level up and become like Fire Skeletor and Terra Claw Skeletor and Battle Armor Skeletor. And you work through the levels and this, this punk He-Man tries to stop you all the time. <laughs> It'd be an awesome video game. Get to work. Those fingers in there. So he said thanks. So he asked him if he wants Skeletor to hold the battle axe in his hand. Hey, do you guys want? Do you want Skeletor to have his battle axe in his hand when he's on on the, the cat? Todd, you got a fat marker? What's that? You have a fat marker? Somebody else likes it more than I do. Oh, well, that marks a lot. I'll do the job if it's. I think it's pretty dry. Oh, out. it's good. Oh, is it good? good? Yeah. Okay. It'll cover some ground, so I don't have to okay. do so much with the other marker. Now I can tighten it up with the other marker. So who's tougher, Battle Cat or uh, Pant? Uh, Battle Cat is because he has the power of Gray Skull too. And that's no right, man. Kind of cheating, man. Really no, that's not cheating. He's got the power. You know, he earned the power. He didn't earn the power. He's this pretty cat that just got it for free. Look, man, I, I I'm not even following with that whole. Yeah. No, it's it's kind of like the Superman thing. Prince Adam looks like He Man. He it's not like he's skinny or anything. Well, in, in the 2000X cartoon, he actually was a little kid, teenage kid. Right, right. right and he would transform to a yeah. huge guy. But you're right, the original cartoon was like you turned tan. <laughs> I, I asked some friends in the past that thought he turned Mexican. Because <laughs> they, they were from Mexico, and they thought that, you know, he would turn into a, a like, like them, you know? <laughs> that's, that's pretty dang funny. I thought it was pretty cool. It's like, you know what, that's pretty cool. It's cool, too, because uh, in Mexico, they actually, the, the He-Man song, yeah. um, isn't it actually has lyrics to it. Oh. And uh, I saw some guys performing it one time, and it's so cool. It's like, how come ours didn't have lyrics, man? <laughs> when they did the, the voiceover, they added lyrics to the song, and it was pretty cool. I feel, I feel cheated. Uh, I think you will get over it. <laughs> As a He-Man fan that you are, I think you will handle it. All right. So there's the battle cap for the next one. All right, Vegeta's on his way out of here. I'm almost done with him. Let me check the comments. Yeah. You know, 
I'll just slide this into the view a little bit so people can see. Who yeah, is coming up next? Oh, that's pretty serious business there, man. <laughs> oh, it's still in the frame. Hold on. That's okay. I'll bring it in and show it before I start drawing. So what's your favorite uh, genre of uh, Dragon Ball Z there, Steve? Oh, gosh. Well, I, I stopped coming on where it was easy to see quite a few years ago. But, um, you know, I got to Mojang Boo, I guess. Uh, you know, Boo and those guys. Were you sure people in the cookies and you ate them? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, uh, you know, it just took so long for a story to be told. It would wear you out. I mean, you're, you're on your edge of your seat the whole time as to whether... You know, Goku's going to survive, whether he's going to win. And the enemy seems so undefeatable so often. Just felt like, oh my gosh. And he would find a way. And, you know, and they've offered up explanations about why he's the way he is. And so, you know, I, that's interesting to me, too. That he, he just keeps getting stronger, keeps getting better. And he meets the challenge of the next guy. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, look, the thing is, is uh, ridiculous for a while. well, super, yeah, super duper poop as I am. <laughs> well, look, I was reading somewhere that even the guy who created the the cartoon is kind of lost interest because it's, he feels like it needs to be done. And, oh, it needs to be, be finished. Yeah, and uh, but people love it so much they're like, no, don't do it. So, so I get it, you know, he, he doesn't even remember, a, from the article I read, he doesn't even remember a lot of the stuff that goes on, and they're starting to have these continuity issues or something, because he just, he's like, eh. That's funny. I, I, I found that pretty interesting. I'm thinking, you know, if I created something that was a billion dollar property, I don't know that I'd, I'd be that bored with it, but you know, you never know. When you talk about Goku in the same breath as you talk about Superman, I'd say you've kind of made it. Okay, here's a question for everybody out there. Who wins, One Punch Man or, or uh, Goku? Awesome battle.
Although, you know, in the first season, he basically beat Goku in the final battle of the show. Yeah, he he fought. The last guy he fought was, was a, a Goku ripoff. He had one eyeball, but he had the same hair. He did all the same energy stuff, all of that. And Goku killed him. Or, I mean, and, uh, and One Punch Man killed him. I would say the best anime uh, in a long, long time. You need to check it out, Todd. It is good stuff. The fact that they make fun of so many things in that show is, is really fun. Almost done with uh, this one, Todd. Get this guy shaded in. Got to do his, his face, but other than that, we're near about done. Vegeta. Vegeta's near about complete. You should do this all the time, you know. Uh -huh. You'd be like that guy, uh, um, oh, what's his name, Bob Ross? Oh, a happy little eyeball right here. And, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and, that little music in the background. Happy little uh, death blow right here. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> happy body slam right That's here. That's right. All right, Vegeta. Let me get his uh, stomach plate in here. You want to erase him, clean him up, and he'll be all done. Oh, oh my gosh, how could I forget that? And his ears. Oh, his ears, yeah. Yeah, he's about to get in big trouble with somebody. Let's clean him up. Dude, I've never tried that before, erasing the lines like that. I'd be afraid the ink would smear or something. That's oh, no, this cool stuff, this stuff, you got to know... Well, first of all, you gotta know what you, what your pen do will do. And if you got a pen that uh, that's indelible, then it's not going anywhere. Now I have made a mistake before <laughs> of having the wrong pen and smearing my artwork, but uh, this stuff is marks a lot, sir. Once it's on, it's never coming off. You're gonna have to vacuum big time when you when I'm done. That's okay, man. Oh, I got one. I got one more thing to do. Here. You gonna sign it? I'm gonna sign it, but I gotta get his, the shading down here in the lower zone just a little bit. There he is. Oh, that is cool. Shushing. Yeah, I'm sorry, man. That actually came out better than your whole picture. Yeah. Well, you know, he's easier to draw. Let's put it that way. Like I said, some things are going to be better than others because I'm rushing, but uh, if I'm not in a big hurry, then I can... Okay, check this out, you guys. Well, hey, if you guys are wondering, um, it's kind of funny. Is uh, Steve keeps saying he's Russian. He doesn't mean he's actually Russian. Even though he did the Russian <laughs> I'm accent. I'm rushing. <laughs> he did the Russian accent for, uh, for my, oh, uh, my destruction gosh. of a thousand roses. So. Oh, my gosh. Don't tell people that. Anyway, there's the... Look at that, y'all. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. That, uh, that is rough. That is one mean looking cat. Yeah. Raise your head up, kitty kit. Okay. I'm going to close my pins for a moment. Get down to it. Hey, can you do a landscape or not? All right. Well, uh, I can, but the plan I had was to have okay, the cat mind. going. If you got a plan, you're just yeah, okay. yeah. I just wanted to use it for the video picture. Oh. I, can, I can take a bunch together yeah. and make some.
Wow, an hour an hour's already gone by, Todd. Look at that helmet. That is so cool looking. Now, the original Pat Panther did not have the helmet. The Four yeah. Horsemen added it on um, for the Classics figure only. But I think it's a really cool addition. Yeah, it looks really nice. All right. Here comes Scaly. So, uh, um, N. Landors, I don't know if I pronounced your name right or not, 554, since you requested this drawing, if you want this mailed to you, Steve will mail it to you. All you have to do is just, just buy one of his books and, and show us that you bought the book. Somehow find me, he-bro.com, click, click the Facebook link, and then show us that you purchased the book, and Steve will mail this picture that he's drawing of Skeletor on Panther out to you, man. He'll even sign it, too. Mm -hmm. So how cool would that be? So if you want it, it's yours. Just purchase the book. Technically, it's kind of funny is a drawing like this would go for more than the book goes for anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, that's, it's, it, it, it's a good steal all the way around. Hey, Steve, why don't you talk, talk about the, the a book loop while you're drawing it? Oh, yeah, yeah. My dragon book is uh, 24 images. Um, all almost, well, most, they're, most are full color, uh, but they're all illustrations. Some I've done for projects for other people, uh, but most are my own ideas. Um, my attitude about dragon is, has always been less mystical and more animal. So imagine dinosaurs that blow fire and stuff like that. Uh, the magical's okay, uh, and I do have some that, that are that way, but I just really dig drawing dinosaurs, and dragons, to me, are like the ultimate dinosaur. So... Um, Check it out. I've got a few images up. I don't want to give away the whole farm by showing everything, but I've got a few images up on my Indiegogo. And uh, check it out and see what you think. I would love it if you would become a patron. What'd you say? So cool oh, yeah. Yeah, he's pretty easy to draw. I just can't believe how fast you can, you, you, you can kick these things out. Yeah. Uh, I like to do quality work, um, but it's hard, to, it's hard to do that when you're going this fast, but hopefully people will dig it and they'll see, you know, what I'm doing and think it's cool. I know I love doing it. So. Let's 
So I just mesmerized watching you draw. That's <laughs> okay. Not even talking, man. So Steve, what what kind of training did you receive to do this kind of drawing, man? Well, I went to art school and all. I went to Colorado Institute of Art, but the kind of training that I'm talking about is the kind of where you love something so much you can't help but do it, and you do it a lot. I mean, in my young life, like I said, I'm I'm an old man now compared to back in the day, but I, I never went anywhere without a drawing pad. That's all I wanted to do. So when you when you live like that, you know whether you're a race car driver or or whatever, if you practice all the time, then prepare. You know, you'll be prepared. You're going to be able to do things that uh, you couldn't if you didn't practice as much. So, big old paws in there, man. Yeah, his paws are monstrous. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna tighten this up a little bit here. He doesn't have any stripes on him or anything, right? Nope, no stripes. At the original release, he was actually, uh, he was actually had like a, uh, a fuzzy kind of thing on there. I guess it was called right now, like, kind of like a G.I. Joe had the hair like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the original one had that kind of... Uh, fuzzy uh, hair on him, huh? Yeah, I forgot what they called that. What the heck? Flocking. Yeah. He had flocking on him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm old enough to remember the original G.I. Joes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I used to have uh, the moving eye G.I. Joe. <laughs> yeah, a little switch in the back of his head. And yeah. to go back and forth. And yeah. I had Atomic Man, too. Yeah. Atomic Man. Because I remember, you know, I remember when the, bion the Bionic Man one came out and you could look through his head and through his Bionic eye. And... I used to have that, too. Yeah. Yep. Six yep. million dollar man. Yeah. It looked like you were looking through a, a, to see if someone who's at your door. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then the Atomic Man had just the, you know, the little thing on top of his head that kind of light up by, you know, by the light shining through his eye. Yep. Good memories. They don't make toys like that anymore. No, they actually make them better now. I mean, uh... <laughs> well, you know, since I was little, my imagination was much stronger, I think. I could do a lot more with a lot less. Yeah. Well, it's, it's funny, is uh, when they came out with the, with the, the He-Man 2, the, the, the line in 2000, Yeah. Um, everyone who got them said, I remember these figures, that's what I remember. It's like, no... Pull out your old figures and take a look. <laughs> yeah. Nothing at all like. There's nothing like. Because I like the new figures. I think they look great. Yeah. But I remember that too. It's, it's the figures you remember, but when you look at them, it sure isn't the figures you remember no, anymore. No, not those guys. Well, that's the thing that's so funny about it to me, is that when I look at those figures, or the original figures and how truncated they were, how their legs were so small and stuff, I used to laugh at that. But then again, I was kind of aged out. I wasn't, uh, I was a little bit too old for He-Man when it came out. Yeah. Still watch the cartoon, <laughs> but, but I didn't collect any of the stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's still fun. I liked all that stuff. I yeah. still do. Nothing's changed, really. Okay, let's get Skeletor squared away here. Get his goat demon skull here. Yeah, his Havoc staff. Is that what it's called? Okay. That's what they call it, yeah. The he, Havoc staff. It actually used to belong to Evelyn's dad. And uh, she took the Havoc stack, staff for Skeletor from her dad. So, and her dad was known as the Faceless One. Oh, man. But before he was the Faceless One, his name was uh, Nick Powers before he became the Faceless One. You know, nobody's nice in this universe. You know? <laughs> Everybody's a jerk in this universe. Man. It does seem that way. Golly. Are things that hard all around that you got to be a schlub all the time? <laughs> Golly. I know, it's funny. People ask me, would that be cool? Be no, it would not be cool. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> there, everybody is trying to hurt you, man. There's nobody's like, comes around. Christmas time is like really sad there. <laughs> like, nobody's giving out gifts unless it's, you know, got a bomb attached to it or something. <laughs> Now, believe it or not, they actually did make a He-Man Christmas special. Oh, I believe it. They, they had kids from Earth, because um, uh, He-Man's mom's from Earth, too. And uh, so the idea was that she was kind of telling them about, about Christmas and stuff, and then they had these kids from Earth that Orko brought back, and it was kind of a weird deal, you know, celebrating Christmas <laughs> on a Celebrating uh, on a planet that has no idea what Christ or any of that is about. There you go. 
<laughs> well, at least we can get out He-Man toys. <laughs> but the funny thing was, Skeletor ended up helping the good guys, and he actually his heart melted for the dog, and the and it helped, actually helped. Oh, the was lost that the kids. one where he got the dog? That's the one where he got the dog. Okay. Yeah, and it, you know, and and then you know, the, his heart melted for the kids and actually helped them. Oh my gosh! He actually gave them coats because they were cold. Well, it didn't last. <laughs> it's one of those things, I guess. Like that, that thing says, I I used to like people, and you know, then I met <laughs> some or something like that. Then I met some. <laughs> Because, uh, yeah, he didn't last. He's back to being his evil, back to his evil ways. Yeah. I just, I, I think he's more misunderstood, man. <laughs> okay, so I'm taking it you love Darth Vader, too. Yeah, because he's a misunderstood. Yeah, character. but Darth Vader destroyed a whole planet. Oh, and this guy wouldn't? Okay. Well, he hasn't really killed anybody yet. Ex- <laughs> but see, see, now you take a look at the other guy, Hordak. Hordak kills uh, his yeah. own minions. Yeah, he's, Hordak is like... He's just evil all the way around. Yeah, nobody wants to work for Hordak. No. The Bennies just don't know. No. I'm sorry. But Skeletor, he actually takes misfits in, you know, Lost Boys. He's kind of <laughs> like, you know, he's kind of like the Peter Pan of his world. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Man, you are, you are, you, you get trying to run, get him to run for governor or something. You are selling well, that dude like crazy. He was my first figure I ever had. No, so. Okay. I'm getting it. I, I am getting it now because <laughs> I see how hard you are selling this guy. Yeah. In fact, it was funny when my kids were younger. I told them the real, real bad guy was E-Man. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. You know you're gonna go to the hot house for that. Don't <laughs> say stuff like that. Oh, uh, terrible. Yeah, and and their favorite figure or Christopher's was uh, Merman, and he used to call him Fred Eckler. It was really cool. He didn't know he was a bad guy. It was awesome. Well, look. Any, any oh, okay. We're gonna mention this, even though I know I'm gonna probably get yelled at. Any. Superhero group that has a guy named Stinkor. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Stinkor's one of my favorites. Come man, on, I, I watched best. that commercial. I was rolling. <laughs> I was laughing so hard. I, I, I no longer could take He-Man seriously after I saw Stinkor. Okay, I wait. Just... The name He-Man right there should have told you. <laughs> when they, when Look, I could, roll, I could roll with it all together. I could roll with all of the other guys. Beast Man is cool. All of them are cool. But it was like, okay, we got to come up with another guy. Man, okay, we, so, have, we, have, we have done every kind of guy we can do. So, I know. Let's get a guy that smells really bad. But, but he had his counterpart. He <laughs> had the guy that smelled like trees, you know. Moss man. You know, I'm, I'm not going to even. So I'm done talking. When it came to names, they wanted to name everything after kind of what they were yeah. by their name and yeah. man. Yeah. Right? So in other languages, they try to make a match. Like Ocean Lore is the name of, of, of Merman, right? Which is kind of cool, right? Yeah, it is cool. But Merman's original name, just like <laughs> Beast Man, you probably already know this is going, the original name they had picked out for, for uh, Merman was Sea Man. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, you know, you just can't call a figure. It's bad enough calling a guy Ram Man, <laughs> but a guy Sea Man on top of it. So, yeah, that's pretty funny. It was, it was one of the other guys working on the line said, how about Merman? <laughs> yeah, let's- Let's try that. Let's see if it flies. And it works. I mean, Merman does work good, you know. And yeah, it does. Uh, nobody's you know. thinking other things when you say Merman. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. uh, yeah, Sea Man, it would have been bad. <laughs> that just would not have gone very well. Uh, I still think it's funny. I actually, I actually wonder if they're going to go with the name Ram Man when they came out with the, with the um I with remember the that guy. Yeah, but they actually kept the name. I was surprised. Well, that's because, you know, you can still you can still see that working on. You can, but then you have that one guy that's a suicide bomber. It's like, come on, are they really going to remake him? And they did. They remade the suicide bomber guy. Well, that was uh You know surprising. what would ha- if they didn't remake the guy, people would be mad. They would. Because their memories, you know, that's the whole idea. Look, there's not many little kids collecting these, I bet, unless they're being turned on by their dads like you. Oh, you know? my, 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 one of my old, older boys, he told me uh, he, he just can't stand he, man, and my youngest boy. And you had to disown him. I know. I remember that story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you no longer have contact with him. But the cool thing about all this. No comment. God. <laughs> ah, he man. He's like got that really <laughs> high voice. Yeah. <laughs> I need to see the one with the Christmas special now. I, I feel like I need to see I, that. I have it on DVD. Oh, we can, oh, we can yeah. spool it up tonight after this was this live video is oh, over. Oh, I, I know. <laughs> I know that there, when Christmas it comes to July, He-Man, man. there's nothing you don't have. 
<laughs> you are the foremost He-Man aficionado. Now, you, you know how that all happened, right? Uh, your desire to be a He-Manian? Yep, I started to be a He-Manian. <laughs> so, for you collectors out there who are married, you know where I'm going with this. Oh, yeah. Oh. So, my wife said, hey, you can only collect one thing, pick one thing. So, I was Roy debating. Marvel, DC, Star Wars. I thought, you know what? It'd be kind of cool to make He-Man in because it's kind of a niche kind of thing and kind of cool. This is before classics came out. And so she was okay with it because there's only a finite night number of figures, only so much material. <laughs> you sucker punched. And then 2002 <laughs> came out. And, you know, of course, the new Mike Young production, which is so cool, the new figures. And then 2008, and they had King Grayskull, and then the line launched. And now there's like, what, 300 plus figures that came out since then? And uh, so, yes, I have a ton of them. And you still have the Marvel stuff. So, yeah. Well, I, I do collect the Hulk mostly. Yeah, but I've seen a lot of other stuff in that massive collection of yours. Yeah, I, I try to sneak them in. If they fit good in the He-Man world, I, I get them. Yeah, they, yeah, okay. So all, all the monster guys, you know, the Thing, the Hulk, you know, the rock guy from the um, from the um, Thor movie. Cor uh, Korg. Korg. Korg, yeah. Yeah. You know, see, that's another thing they took and they, uh, they, well, first of all, he's got a New Zealander's accent, which was weird. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Korg and his brothers came to Earth. That was one of the first issues uh, of Thor back oh, in wow. the day. And came to Earth ready to conquer it. And they met Thor, who was just happened to be hanging around. And he beat them so bad <laughs> that they left and decided never to come back to Earth. Wow. So, yeah, and that was what was so funny to me. I'm sitting there watching, you know, when I watch these movies, if you're, you're a big fan of comics and you see them doing stuff where they grab things and they change it and all that kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. And for me, it's always a stick in the side. It bothers me <laughs> because I know the real truth, you know. It's like, I know what you're trying to do. <laughs> the truth is out and there. And the you truth is <laughs> you took Korg and Korg and his brothers were, you know, they were were pretty tough, man, but they uh, they couldn't handle Thor and his hammer. Because <laughs> the three of them figured, well, we can take this world over. Yeah. Okay. How about that? Is that good? That is amazing. All right. There, there's... All right. Let's, let's check the requests and see what else we have. I haven't looked at the comments for I'm going to give you that. That okay. is so cool looking, man. Thank you, Skeletor. Oh, 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 sorry, man. That's okay. I'm sitting back over there. All right. Check the feed. All right. Hey, Steve, ask, ask, ask the request, man. Hey, uh, okay, yes. What is it, uh, anybody out there have a request? Okay. I'll just take that he man drawing and you oh somebody wrote something. Uh North Florida fishing forty two wants man at arms. Man at arms. With his giant feeding trough in the front. Ah, there he is. There he is. Fully loaded, man, with enough equipment to take anybody out. Jeez, look at oh my gosh, you look look at that guys. <laughs> Guns, everything. Oxygen mask. He's got it all. Somebody else wrote Lionel versus He-Man. Sorry, man, you're just a little too slow. <laughs> Lionel over. They would be friends. Come on. <laughs> He's got his hands full with Mumra. He ain't I think messing. Lionel would be pretty mad at He-Man for riding Battle Cat. Yeah, yeah. I think that would that'd probably tick him off. That would probably <laughs> cause an issue. You're right. Hey, you know? you know, cats are equal. Why are you riding this guy, you know? <laughs> it's kind of... I think it's, it's, it's kind of like the whole thing of uh, Mickey Mouse, where he has a, a, a pet dog, but he has a friend named Goofy. Yeah, man, there's a whole <laughs> lot of weird going on in Disney, so, you know, we ain't even going there. <laughs> well, gosh, you know, we got one dog man, and then we got a dog dog, 
with a giant mouse or two, and uh, you know, okay, it's bizarre. So we're not. He looks serious. As, he looks serious business here, Todd. Oh, hey, Steve, give a, give a shout out to my friend Brian. Hey, Brian. Thanks for watching. Dude, this guy's got some serious cheekbones. Whoa. Hey, Brian, ch check out Steve's book, Dragons. It is really cool, man. It's something you're really going to want to get. It is amazing. So check it out. And uh, if you have a request on something you want Steve to draw, um, just put it in, in the chat, man. And he's not going to draw any, any Nerf thing. <laughs> we got a Nerf fan out there? He is known as the Nerf Curator. I always call him Nerf Herder. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a different kind of Nerf. So. <laughs> but uh, the dude had, I mean, you should see his YouTube channel. He, he modifies guns. There's all kinds oh, of cool stuff. Oh, yeah, and, yeah. And he has, like a, he has like a thing to check to see how fast the darts are shooting out. <laughs> a, veloc <laughs> a velocity meter to check the speeds? It's, oh, just, it's just so cool, man. If you were to see his stuff, Steve, you'd uh, be uh, amazed. A, ner a Nerf gun killed a man today. <laughs> <laughs> I tell those nerf darts kill you. It's I was just... just playing, man. I was just playing. Get in the car. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the, the guy's stuff is is amazing. He's also a He-Man he fan as well, and he does uh, uh, custom figures too. Yeah, that's the other thing I do is I'm a I'm a model builder and uh, have been my whole life. My my life goal when I was young was to work for George Lucas, but I missed it. I was a little too young. And uh, they were moving to digital when I was about ready to start trying to, to show my stuff. And so I still build spaceships to this day. On my channel, when it's finally up, I hope to actually show the, some of the stuff I build too. Because now I 3D modeler, or I have a 3D printer and I do that. I do all kinds of stuff now. Yeah. Today is a great time to live because of the things you can do. And you can create the ways that you're, you're allowed to create. So one guy said that he is definitely going to buy a book of yours because he wants this, this Skeletor drawing. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. This is some cool armor on this guy, Todd. on this guy oh I missed his air tank holy mackerel how could I do that sorry guys I wasn't paying attention 
And this is air tank all together. We'll get that in there. Oh, I just messed up. That's all. That happens all the time, so. I left his air tank out. I was drawing the bottom of his, uh, his carapace there and uh, left the... Oh, no, air tank, yeah. Got to put that in there. You do, yeah. I mean, when he goes to poison everybody with poison air, he put his mask down, put his head down in there, yeah. So does this, like, cover over him? When I was a kid, the heads were squishy. I used to always squish it down into it. <laughs> I don't know if you're supposed to do that or not, but uh, I always did it as a kid. And okay. his head's movable, so it kind of works. But it makes sense that his head is kind of burp and tucking like a turtle. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah. There we go. All these goodies in there. Yeah, that's a lot of detail, man. Yeah, I'm not doing it the greatest, but uh, we'll get it done. A little bit lower. A little bit lower. Lots of detail on this guy. I think the Vegeta pitches are already spoken for, man. Are you talking to me? Yeah. Awesome. So, uh, yeah, some guy just, just sent me a message, and I said, hey, buy a book, and it's yours, man. Awesome. That's so, great. Make sure he provides me with an address, and uh, yep, you will get a Vegeta picture. You know, you could just stick it in with the book when you mail it to him. That's true. So you guys buy a book, and you, and you well, claim the picture. Here's the thing. I'm going to send it to him early because, I don't want okay. to, because it's going to take time for the book to get finished and printed and everything. Okay. So it wouldn't be right to make him wait that long. All right. You hear that? Steve will mail it to you early. So mm -hmm. if you, whoever you're the guy who contacted me on, on, uh, on Facebook, get a book and send me your address on Facebook and Steve will mail out that yep. Vegeta picture to you. And it's funny is the book costs less than this artwork would normally. <laughs> so... You guys are getting a really good deal just, just paying for the book. I know, it is crazy, because the book's only only 25 bucks. Yeah, the first, more hundred, than that. yeah the first 125 uh, after that, it's 30 per person, per book, I should say. But I think it's a reasonable price, because it's a large format book, guys. It's not a little bitty pamphlet. It's a hardcover, 11 by 17, si or 17 by 11, I should say. It's a long book tabletop style and beautifully printed in full color so it's it's definitely i wanted a book that could really you know show off the work i didn't want a little tiny book so i got made it tabletop size that is awesome in case you're wondering i'm not just a fan i also purchased a book myself too because it's so cool so I'll, I'll be getting one, and then when they come out, I'll definitely be re, 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 reviewing the book online as well. Look at this. Man, what kind of workouts these dudes doing, man? I think what it is, it's got to be that they don't have that one G, that one DNA strand that causes muscles to degrade. To atrophy? Yeah, because yeah. man-at-arms is not a young man. You know? No. At first, I thought it was the gravity was heavier there, but I heard about this thing. I forget which... What, part of your DNA it is, but I guess if you're to uh, make it so that you this this part stops putting some kind of thing into your body, your muscles will continually grow and not degrade at all. Oh yeah, like those um, those cattle that are all muscle, is that what you're talking about? Something like that, yeah. Okay, so they're all on roids. I got you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Makes sense. But it's natural. Which is funny, <laughs> you think Prince Adam would be a wimp because his mom is earthly? Look, Prince Adam, man, don't get me started. <laughs> Come on, cringy. <laughs> Come on, man. You're grown. You can't have a voice like that. Hey, see, 
John, when he was trying to make the voice sound different enough than He-Man, that's what it was. Oh, okay. So you keep making those excuses. It, it was the same voice actor, and you have to make a difference. Because <laughs> his voice is oh, booming all the time. Oh, power. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, my gosh. Well, what's more annoying is when he did the voice for other characters, too. Like when he did uh, Count, Count Marzo, for instance. Those who saw a Count Marzo video... Yeah, it was the same voice as the guy who did, did uh, Prince Adam and He-Man. And he tries to change his voice up a little bit. It just sounds like it's something really wrong. <laughs> well, but, hey, man, he's getting multiple chicks. That's what he's like. Hey, yeah. You know, baby, if I'm going to do this, but we, sure, cool I can do Marzo. Well, what's cool is there, there's a friend of mine. He went with the name Lion Court Online. His name is Matthew. And uh, he went blind as, a, as a, a young child. And so the guy who did the voice for He-Man... He actually uh, um, made a, a audio tape for him. Oh wow! Actually, I think his name was Jeremy. Sorry, sorry, not Matthew. Jeremy, and uh, it was so cool. It was like, hey, you know, it was, it was, it was actually the voice of He Man saying that he's him and Jeremy are friends, and it was so cool. Um, you could probably find the audio track if you search Google for it, because um, he, he posted it a long time ago. But uh, it is so cool to hear John Irwin talking with the He Man voice, giving that thing. Hey, we got somebody else on there. I can't read your thing. I'll be. I'm gonna go check it out. I'll be right back, Steve. All right. Hey, keep keep talking about your process, man. Oh, okay. So anyway, uh, I don't know what I was saying, but I'm here drawing uh, man at arms right now, and doing a quick sketch of all of these different things. I know that they're not super tight, but because of time, we want to get through as many as possible. So I apologize in advance for the lack of tightness of these. Um, but I'm always commissionable. And if you want a commission, I showed a picture a little earlier. I'm going to show it again. This is the kind of sketch that I do usually when I have a little time. I'm working on some other character projects of my own. And so when I'm doing, when I have time, I can do much tighter line work, that kind of stuff. So, But uh, when I'm drawing in a big hurry, like concept art sketches, stuff like that, then, yeah, I, I, I'd, um, I'd do them quick. But uh, to all those who are on right now, thanks for watching and appreciate your taking your time out of your day to, to check us out. I've never done this before. And uh, my friend Todd, he's, he's been gracious enough to open up his awesome forum for me to do this. So I'm very appreciative. And, our, and both our wives are away so we can do what we want for a minute. So it's kind of cool. All right, Steve. Well, the good news is you only have to draw for 20 more minutes, man. I know, man. Got. Time's been flying. <laughs> That's what happens when you're having fun, so. Yeah. Chris says, nice line art. Um, do you have oh, an Instagram account? And he said, because something, but it went away before I could read it, man. I do have an Instagram account. I don't even remember the name of it, though. So just a second. I'll have to look it up. We're almost done with man anyway. Let's see. Well, you want you to send him a message because he has a question. Sure. So, see. Uh, What's interesting is, is that I don't even know how to use my Instagram, honestly. I never used it. Put my name. Well, hey, if you guys need to look, find us, um, go to he-bro.com. And, and you can find me on Facebook and, and or subscribe to this channel. I'll put Steve's Instagram link in the description when this video is over. So um, just look for that. So if you want to hold off and, and do that later, man. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And uh, so if you, need it, if you need this Instagram account, just subscribe to me right now. And then uh, we'll go ahead and... Uh, the man at that all. Is, that is awesome. There he is. I'm very unhappy. Very unhappy man at arms, which makes sense. He's usually an unhappy guy. He seemed happy a lot more than, than the rest of the guys. But you can't stand Orko always dropping eggs on his head. Look, dude, you, that guy's bizarre, okay? Hey, let, let him know we're taking requests, man. We're taking requests, you guys. If you got a request for a sketch, let me know. Let Todd know, and he'll tell me. I don't know, Todd. This seems like something that could be cool, man. On a regular. Ooh. 
Yeah. That's cool, actually. I'm uh, working right now. I'm uh, getting pulling Mumra up so I can. Uh, Mumra, the ever living. Mumra. Oh man, now see, Mumra was bringing it too. That dude was rough. Oh, <laughs> look at this guy. Yeah. Pretty mighty looking. Yeah, well, I bet it won't beat this picture. I don't know. It's a pretty cool custom I made. Yeah. It's got kind of a loose leg. Ah. Uh, no. Look oh, at yeah. look at this custom. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ooh. I gotta take a look at my custom and put it away. <laughs> The new Mumra figure is coming out from Super 7, though. I bet you it'll be awesome. Yeah. I like this one, though. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I like that guy. So Mumra versus He-Man, huh? Yeah. Smile right now. I know I love drawing this stuff, man. <laughs> I can't help it. It just comes out of me. You know, when you get to do stuff like this, because I'm a, I'm a hardcore. I mean, I love all this stuff. And then I'm imagining it in my brain how it's gonna look. You know, <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, baby. That's funny. And for those people that are contacting me on on Facebook, um, I'll answer all the stuff when this live feeds over. And we got 15 minutes left, Steve. All right, well, we're going to keep cranking until we're done. All right, who knows? If you feel up to it, we can maybe leave, leave the feed on until you actually finish this one drawing. Yeah, well, uh, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Right. Okay, that's Mumra's face. Let's get the, let's get the man in here now. Get that side profile. my custom back away <laughs> <laughs> we got a he-man gritting his teeth getting ready to bring the hammer or the axe as it were so what do you guys think who would win in a fight mumra or he-man My friend Brian's get, getting subs while, while we're on here, man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mumra the ever-living awesome. Thanks, Brian. Yep, Steve is, is quite the artist, man. Yeah, the dimple. Yeah. Mumra's huge, so... He is huge. Yeah, he's, he's no wimp. You know, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking, though, I, I think He-Man would win out of the two. But I think if it was Mumra versus Superman, well, I don't know, because Superman's weakness is magic. Yeah, yeah. See, that's the problem. Superman couldn't handle the magic deal, but just like I think He Man's sword could slice slice Superman in half, but Superman would only get close to him. So you know, it's kind of one of those. Well, unless unless He, he Man's got super speed, uh, he's gonna have some issues. <laughs> <laughs> he's not. It's not gonna go the way he wants it to. I think if 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 uh, Superman did not know that his sword was magic, which he wouldn't at first, right? It'd kind of be a surprise. He'd probably expect the sword to bounce off him, and all of a sudden slice. So if he didn't know ahead of time, he'd be out of luck. Yeah, it'd be a bad day for soups. <laughs> all right, let's. And it's not like Wolverine gets torn in half by the Hulk and comes back somehow. Hey, man, he crawled <laughs> up that mountain and got his legs back. So that says something for Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> that was a crazy issue, man. 
You know, but hey, he had pushed it. He kept messing with Hulk. And finally, Hulk was like, you know what? I don't want you following me anymore. So I'm going to huck your legs up into the mountains there. And you can just drag yourself for a while. <laughs> and he did. So so the question is, is if he didn't get his legs, will they, will they grow back automatically? Uh, no. <laughs> and they did that with, with uh, um, Deadpool in that movie. No, where... yeah. Deadpool will grow back. But uh, I, don't, I don't. Well, I don't. Okay. Look, they say that Wolverine from one cell can grow his whole body back. But he would have grown, I guess, uh, when he grew back, he wouldn't have antimanium on his lower body. Oh, yeah, yeah. I guess the antimanium is not part of his yeah, DNA, yeah. so. I guess that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. That'd be weird, having uh, regular bone legs and antimanium everywhere else. Yeah, yeah. It would, it would cause some issues again. But, you know, the thing is, is that without antimanium, Wolverine is a piece of work, dude. He is, I mean, he's really scary. Yeah, he would have thought it. He's much more. He's much more dangerous without it than he is, and at least an initial attack. He's much more dangerous. So, I was always on the assumption that he did not have um, claws until they put the animanium into him. No, he was born with them. But when you see the movie, that one movie has those bone claws that come out. Is that really comic book accurate? Look, when when Magneto drew, he got in a fight with Magneto. And Magneto drew out his animanium. He pulled it out of him. And it nearly killed him. But when he recovered, he was like a feral animal. And, I mean, his speed was, he was three times faster. He, 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 got, he actually ran out in front of a car, got hit. It killed him, and he came right back to life. <laughs> I mean, just like that. So he gets advantages from not having the animanium in him, too, you know. So. All the extra weight, sure. Well, there's the extra weight, but... The stuff is kill. If it wasn't for his healing factor, it'd kill him because it's poison. Oh. So I did not know that. Yeah, the, and, you know any kind of foreign substance like that, but animanium is poison, and uh, it will kill you if you ingest it. But because his healing factor is so powerful, hey, do you want me, want me to gra- grab a sword? Uh, did I do it all that wrong? No, oh, there's, there's, there's just different ones. That's 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 one of them. Yeah. Is that a good one? Okay, that's, I'll do that. That's one. actually most people's favorite. Okay, then I'll do that one. I I keep seeing that other one, but I'll be glad to do this one. Yeah, that the one in your hands from the comic. It's oh, cool. okay. All right. Sorry, all right. man. No, it's all right. We're just drawing. <laughs> you know, that's what they make erasers for. Yeah. Not quite as bowed in the middle there. there we go. Oh yeah. There we go. That already looks cool. Much better than that filmation sword. <laughs> you mean the actual original sword? Yeah. Uh, no, they changed it for the cartoon. Did they? Yeah. Look, I didn't know there was a He-Man before the cartoon. Oh, yeah. The He-Man before the cartoon, he was more barbaric. Um, it was more like, uh, it was a lot more like uh, Conan. It was really cool, but it had, um, you know, it, the idea is it was kind of like Conan meets uh, a, a World Thundar. that's been destroyed. Oh, yeah, okay. Thundar. Yeah. Thundar. So they still had, like, you know, cool So was things, it a comic like, book then? Yeah, it was, all, it was a mini comic that, that, that came with the figure. Oh, I gotcha. And so the first four comics are what everyone based the lore after, which is so oh. cool. There was no Prince Adam. There was, was no He-Man. Orko. Just bringing it. Okay, just gotcha. bringing it. I yeah. gotcha. And, and the swords, each, each person had a half of the sword, basically. He-Man had half, and Skeletor achieved half eventually. And when they combine the swords, you get more power. Right. So it was kind of one of those storylines, which they didn't use in, in the cartoon at all. So what you're saying is you're basically disappointed. I was very disappointed <laughs> in, the, in the cartoon. <laughs> I, I still am. Now, Mike Young Productions' cartoon was awesome. You guys all know I feel that way about the cartoon, but Filmation? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I didn't know you felt that way. Yeah. Well, I understand. There's enough stuff nowadays that I just hate. You know, for sure. I won't even go into it. You know, Todd. Yeah. And I just got lots of issues with everything these days. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Don't get me started on the Nishira, man. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I, uh, no comment. I, it has this cool factor because it's Shira, but. How? What? What's cool about it? There's nothing cool about she right now, and you know it. Don't even be trying to pander. Don't even. Don't you dare. <laughs> tell the truth. Always tell the truth. 
if you like your if you like your she ras that look like young boys, then get in line. But other than that, then you you know, sorry. Truth hurts, dude. Oh, you don't look funny. like a girl, that's for sure. That is hilarious. Dude, that looks so cool. Yeah, he is cool looking. <laughs> <laughs> he is really cool looking. That's the thing. He is one of the best characters that they came out with in that group of, you know, Silver Hawks and Thundercats and I forget the shark folks. Oh. Yeah, there was the shark ones too. I can't remember their name. Yeah, they, they had street sharks for a while. Is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, that must else? be it. Yeah. Uh, but uh, they, they, they covered air, land, and sea pretty much. <laughs> Now I believe Mumra was also an Earthling, wasn't he? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was New Earth or something they were on, and uh, and he was basically the boss of that place, and he, you know, he wanted them to bow down to him like the rest of the people or the rest of the creatures on the planet. Since they wouldn't, then he had an they had an instant en enemy in Mumra. And you know, the thing is, as as you see, you know, he he can be super strong, but he also has to. I guess he has to regenerate or something like that. He has to regenerate. Yeah. He usually is that little small scroll up old man yeah. until he does the the transformation. See, that's what reminds that there's stuff about that show that reminds me of uh Battle Beyond the Stars and stuff because uh or no, uh Battle of the Planets. Uh because of the, the old witch and uh they kinda all look alike. The way that character looks looks like the witch in uh Battle of the Planets. Oh yeah. Or Voltron, actually. Yeah, Voltron. Voltron. Voltron, that's the one I meant, yeah. So, so Brian says, uh, he made some comment about uh, uh, Mumra, the ever-living. He says, he, when he transforms, he becomes nine feet tall. Yeah, well, he's no munchkin. And he's awesome. I mean, his face is just so cool. I mean, I want to go home now and draw, <laughs> actually really draw him now, now that I've looked at it. I just I want to spend some time. <laughs> and actually draw the dude because he's is awesome drawing. looking. That I'm forcing you to do, huh? Yeah. I got all this other stuff to do, but uh, I'll put that down. I'm going to draw Mum Raw for a while. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Man, my face on my guy, on my He Man, looks like something Walt Simonson drew, which is a compliment to me, but <laughs> I don't know if Walt would like it that much, but that really looks like his drawing. He looks like old Ryan uh, from the DC. Uh, Oh, yeah, he does look, look like Orion. Yeah, he looks like Orion. Yeah. Who was also pretty bad. Bad dude. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Superman would have his hands full with Orion. I mean, first of all, you know, hanging around with the uh, with uh, Dark Side is, can definitely give you some extra juice. Sometimes. Wasn't he like Orion? Wasn't Darkseid Dark like his son or something? Well, uh, what they did was they traded some, they traded kids to to um, to keep a truce going. Oh, okay. Yeah, so he traded with the All Father or whatever his name was, and and, uh, and so his son went went over to them, and and um, Orion came to him, and he raised them. That's how they kept a truce amongst them. But uh, Orion was no joke. He can't fly. That's why he has to ride around that sled. But other than that, <laughs> that dude is bad, man. Yeah, I don't know. I was never a fan of his little little jet thing. He's yeah, a little on. sled he rode on. Yeah. Well, you know, you can't. You know, come on, don't be like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's as bad as that guy that rides in that giant chair. What's what's his name? Oh, Modok? No, 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 not Modok. It's, it's the guy with the blue and. He looks almost like Blue Beetle, but he's also from. Uh, oh, that, oh, so uh, in the DC universe, you're talking. Or are you talking yeah, DC? Yeah, DC. I, he's, I, he's also part of a, a, a apocalypse or something like that. I don't know, but I, I know what Met, Metron. I think is, is that is. Metron? Yeah, he has the big, the big green chair with the big yeah. wheel on the back. I'm sorry, everybody, that we're getting it all wrong over here talking <laughs> about comic books. I know, you know, off the top of your head, you can you can mess things up. So please forgive if we get it all wrong. <laughs> talking about stuff here don't worry they'll they'll put it in the comments <laughs> yeah oh i know they'll be like y'all suck you don't know anything shut up so oh that's funny dude this would make an awesome weekly show you know well you know if we get enough response and you know it would be perfect because it would give me a chance to to get and do things and and um, and work on this because 
you know, I'm raw. I don't really know how to do this shit, how to, how to make a show like this. And Todd here is a master at it, so it would be awesome to do it. And we'll see what happens, you know. You get enough response from people who think it's cool, then heck yeah. Let's get that battle brace, whatever that is, on his chest. So I take it that uh, this guy, since he's wearing the same gear, is a good guy. Yeah, Hebro's supposed to be a good guy. Yeah. Well, I know Hebro, but is the actual character from the beginning? Oh, the original character didn't have that armor. Oh, oh, okay. The original character has like a blue sh armor that looks like uh, from like Fisto. Oh, okay. Fisto. Fisto. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. If you've if you got a name that's a problem, <laughs> that, that sounds like much more of a problem than, than the other ones you mentioned, Todd. Yeah, I suppose it's kind of. <laughs> Oh. Let's see if I can find a clamp champ, man. You know, you've turned all your, your clamp champs into Hebrews. Nah, I got a whole bunch still still in the package to become Hebrews eventually. There we go. Hey, hey buddy. So here is him before he oh. became Hebrew. There he is. Dun, 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 dun. So I paint his armbands green and his belt green and, and get new armor on him. And, and there he is, yep. ready to go. That's Mr. Iron Gun. You could just see the movement in that drawing, Steve. Well, you know, I would have him, if I was doing this again, I would have him floating above him, you know, with all that, that blue aura that comes off him when he really starts bringing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, and, and he would look awesome, man. He would look so cool. Wait, if you are going to make it when you get home, when you're done, you know. Yeah, that... sure, I'll, I'll show you. I'll send it over to you, and you can. And for those who subscribe, I will, I will show you guys the video of his mum raw. Um, and he actually spends time doing it. Yeah, I'll go ahead and record it while I'm drawing. Oh, you record a drawing too? Oh, yeah, cool. I'll record it. That way, you know. It... We'll, we'll do a time lapse on it for yeah, everybody yeah. watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Okay, I guess that's that'll do for now. All right. Let's see. We still have... Oh, we're out of time. It's 7.30. Oh, my gosh. That went so fast. That was two hours, man. Man. Guys, I want to thank you very much for, for spending time with us and watching me do this. It was really fun. I hope I get to do it again. Yeah, and don't forget, check out Steve's book. Share with your friends. His dragon stuff is amazing. And they're not quick drawings like this. He actually spent yeah. a lot of time doing yeah. them. They take a little bit longer. Like uh, Some of them take a couple of days. Some of them take just a few hours. But they definitely take longer than these quick 10-minute 10, 10 sketches. All right. Well, hey, Steve, thank, thanks for coming over. No, thank you. That was really fun. All right. I'll see you guys next video. Like, subscribe, tell your friends.